Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a first impressions on a lot of new makeup. I went shopping, I received some PR, and I thought I would just kind of mash it all together and just kind of play today. So I had a lot of fun and I don't want to ramble because I think this video is going to be really freaking long. So yeah, please subscribe if you haven't yet. Hit that button. Also, I am swatching the Sophia Nygaard and ColourPop lipsticks at the end of this video. I did lips very last, so if you're just here for the swatches and to see how they apply, then I will put a timestamp around here and in the description box if you wanted to skip to that point. Anyways, so without further ado, let's get started. Yesterday I went to Sephora and I got a couple things to test out. Just a couple things that I was interested in because honestly, I've been a little bit uninspired lately. So I wanted to try out some new goodies. And then I came home and I had two ColourPop packages waiting for me. So I got some ColourPop PR, so I kind of wanted to use that. And then I wanted to incorporate other things that I've picked up recently. And yeah. So the first thing I got from ColourPop is this new pre-made palette. Oh, the texture is kind of nice. So I believe this is one of the pre-made palettes that you can purchase. The Build Your Own Palette event was on recently and not all of these shades are new, but some of them are. And it's like very fall time appropriate. So yeah, I'm really excited about this. Some of these shades I already own, but it's like the very neutral ones. Like I own these two top ones. I have the brown, the black, and there's one other in here that I already have. So after this video, I'm gonna pick those out and give them to my best friend. So I think the look I want to do today, I kind of want to incorporate the color of my tank top. Yeah, I think this color would be perfect. This is like an orange shade. It's called High Society, and I feel like that would be pretty all over the lid. I don't know. We're just gonna go for it. So I will zoom you in. All right. Hello. So... Let's just start, I guess. I think the first color I kind of want to go into is this shade here called I Owe You. I'm going to pick them out of the palette so I don't have to lift the palette every time and then I can actually tell you what shade it is. I'm going to pick this color up on my Sigma Tapered Blending E40 and I'm just going to kind of buff this into the crease and blend it upwards. I mean, I don't feel like I'm going to have anything crazy to say about these eyeshadows because ColourPop's formula is really standard like there's not really much fluctuation in their formula and their formula is really consistent and good so that's what I'm fully expecting from these shades however we're gonna play anyways I probably should have gone into this light peachy shade this one's called running late so I think I'm just also gonna grab a little bit of this one just on the same brush and I'm just gonna use this to just kind of buff it out I kind of wish there was a matte cream shade in here. That's one thing I do wish. I love me a matte cream shade, but it's fine. I'll just use a powder foundation. Just to highlight my brow bone really quickly, I'm just gonna use my Kat Von D powder foundation. I just like to use like a light skin tone shade just to really buff out that product and make sure that there's a nice transition. What I am gonna do is go in with this warm brown, like warm orangey brown, it's called Imperial. And I'm just gonna pick this up on a Morphe Y18 and I'm just gonna place this in the outer crease. I'm gonna kind of stop at the middle of my eye and not take it too far inwards. And then I'm just going back in with that Sigma E40 and kind of continuing to buff it out. I don't usually buy eyeshadows anymore just because palettes are just so mass produced right now that I just don't, f don't find I have an interest in many anymore. I just find that it just feels like there's so little thought put into them that I just, I don't know, I can't. I can't get excited about them anymore and that's really sad for me because eyeshadow used to be my jam. Anyways, on a more positive note, I'm going to go into this dark burgundy. It's called Facet. Kind of reminds me of a MAC eyeshadow I used to love, but I don't remember what it was called. I'm just going to pick that up on a little ColourPop E1 brush and I'm just going to place it out here. It's a little patchy, but I was honestly expecting that because it has like a purple undertone. Actually, you know what? Now that I grab more, it's not that bad. Should I do orange and purple at the same time? Is that too crazy? Are we getting too funky here? I don't know. Because there is this really pretty purple shade in here. It's like a royal purple. It doesn't have a lot of blue to it. It's called Paradiso. Do I want to add this? 
I don't know, there's too many options, there's too many options. And the thing I like about this is that there's only one pressed glitter. I'm just, I don't know, like they're not eye safe. They're kind of a pain to work with. I do like the formula for a pressed glitter, but I just, I want eyeshadows if I'm gonna buy an eyeshadow palette, you know what I mean? So I'm just adding this um, facet color. That's so beautiful. I'm adding it to the outer corner and then I'm just gonna use that Morphe brush with the additional warm brown product on it and I'm just gonna use that to kind of buff it into the crease. And I am gonna do a little bit of cut crease action. I'm just gonna grab the Ordinary Coverage Foundation in the shade 1N. I don't know why I had a hard time reading that. <laughs> Apparently I'm illiterate today. I need to wash my brushes. It's getting around that time where all of my brushes are dirty and I'm running out of options. It makes me very sad because I hate washing my brushes. I'm gonna use this little Morphe synthetic brush to cut the crease. I usually use something smaller, but I don't know. Let's just try this out. Okay, that's not working. It's too big for me, actually. That's what she said. So I'm gonna use my Stilazzi Mini Definer S206. This is what I almost always use anyways. So this is gonna be a more dramatic cut crease than I had intended, but that's okay. Now we're good to move on to eyeshadow, and I think I'm gonna do orange. I'm gonna go in with that high society color and I'm gonna use it on a ColourPop E4 brush. This is like the perfect color for my shirt. It's like a burnt orange with some gold reflex in it. Okay, and you know what? I think I'm gonna add some purple. I think I'm gonna do it. It's risky. It's risky, but I, mm, do I want to? Mm. Okay, let's just do it. Let's just do it. I don't have any more flat brushes <laughs> to apply it with. Crap! Maybe that's the universe's way of telling me that I shouldn't add the purple. We're just gonna dip into that purple. Oh, this wasn't a terrible idea, I don't think. I don't know, do I look stupid? Someone tell me. <gasps> no, I think, I think this was a good call, guys. I think it was. It was actually blended together better than I thought they were going to. Now I'm just gonna add a bit of that deep purple outer corner shade just to blend it in with the shimmery purple we used. That's really pretty. Okay, I'm gonna go do my other eye off camera and I'll be right back and we can test some more stuff. Okay, so I'm also going to add a little bit of gold to my inner corners. This is the shade Heart to Heart. I'm going to use a ColourPop E4. I used it for the orange, but I'm gonna flip it just to add a little more dimension as if this look doesn't already have enough of it. Okay, so now for eyeliner, I have the Huda Beauty Life Liner. I purchased this myself. I didn't get in PR. I know a lot of people that did. Apparently this is impossible to get off. One of my friends who's on her PR list said that it's really, really difficult to remove. I know Huda Beauty did come out with a um, makeup remover to go with this product, so maybe you should buy that if you're interested in this liner. I don't know. I'll update you in the blurb somewhere around here. This is a double-ended liner. Oh, that's kind of cool. So it labels the sides. It's This is the pencil side and this is the liquid side. So you twist for the liquid side. Oh, oh, it comes out. Oh no. Well, I just got like liquid liner everywhere. That's really not good. I had it upside down. So you pull it out like this. It's an interesting applicator. Oh, no, it's not. Is it a brush? Yeah, it's a brush applicator. I like brushes, so that's good. And here's the pencil side, and you twist it up. Oh, that's kind of cool. Kind of a cool concept. Okay, let's get cracking. I thought it was kind of expensive for an eyeliner. It was $33 Canadian. I don't know why my voice cracked there. It was $33 Canadian, and now that I know that it comes with two sides, I feel like that price is a little more justified. Okay, so you twist for the liquid liner. I don't know if I'm gonna do a wing today. I'll probably end up doing a wing, let's be honest. It's very black. It's very easy to apply. It's very matte. Cool, not bad. All right. Um, should I do a wing? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. I feel like that's the true test about how a liquid liner applies is doing a wing. I mean, it's not a good wing. 
but it's a wing. I'm gonna touch it up in my big mirror here just because I can't really use a tiny mirror for a wing because I gotta get super duper close. I mean, that wasn't hard to use. All right, I like it so far. Okay, I'm just gonna do my other eye off camera and I'm gonna touch this one up because I just can't do wings on camera, it's just a thing. I'll be right back. Okay, so I touched it up and um, it was pretty easy to use, I'd say. Uh, it kind of feels heavy, like almost drying a little bit. Like, I can feel it on there, which is kind of weird for a liquid liner. But I don't hate it. Like, it's not super annoying. It's just kind of something to get used to, maybe. Anyways, now I'm going to go on to foundation. This is the new foundation that I picked up. I'm going to do an entire video on it because I'm really curious about it. And it's the Anastasia Luminous Foundation. I have oily skin, so I don't know how this is going to go over. And this is just going to be a first impression, so it's not really going to test the wear or anything. So I got the shade 120W and let's test it out. I feel like Jeffree Star in that one video where he's like, and it became a meme. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Okay. I don't know how much it says. How much does it say to use? Medium coverage, luminous natural finish. Does not say how much to use. Okay, so we're just gonna wing it. I just have about that much on the back of my hand. Mm, I thought I picked a good shade for me. That may have been a mistake. Oh, got some on the lip. Oh, that looks really quite dark. Okay. Oh, blend it out. It's not so bad. I was gonna say, because I did swatch it and it did seem like a pretty good match for me. Yeah, yeah, it's not bad, okay. Except not really, because I would have just returned it, let's be honest. I hate returning products though, especially ones that I've already used. I don't know, it just makes me uncomfortable, but I'm also a broke bitch, so sometimes I don't have a choice. Makeup is too expensive to buy it and not like it, so. It's definitely medium coverage. It's like a solid medium. Kind of looks a bit cakey around my nose or here kind of looks a bit cakey i'm not using any primer i've honestly been kind of into this theory that primer is just a scam i would say that's a natural finish like it's not overly matte but i wouldn't say it's overly luminous either i think i like it so far that's my first impression is that it's good it's not like blowing my socks off or anything but it's good i do have quite a bit of texture on my cheeks right now they're not breakouts but they're kind of scars and they don't, this foundation doesn't seem to be emphasizing them or anything. I'm gonna turn down my ring light just to see if you guys can see what I'm talking about, about it kind of clinging weird here. Okay, so I've turned my light down and zoomed you in a little more. I don't know if you can tell, but it almost makes it look like it's dry here, which is weird because I don't have dry skin. So that's interesting. I don't think I've had a foundation that's done that before. I probably have, but like, not recently anyways. I didn't have a new concealer to try out, so I'm just gonna use Tarte Shape Tape. This is in Fair Neutral. I feel like the undertones of this foundation, just on a side note while I'm blending, are kind of funky. Like, the shade down from the one that I got was a neutral shade, and I swatched it, and it was very strongly pink. So so, I, I don't know, like, and I've noticed that with a couple of the shades that when I was trying to find a good shade for me, like, usually I would consider myself a neutral, not a warm, but I don't know. Maybe I am warm. This is, like, contradicting everything I've ever known. Okay, so then I'm just gonna set my face using my Kat Von D translucent powder. I'm just gonna skip through this part because it's not a first impression at all. This is just the powder I've been using lately. I'm trying to go through it. I'm almost there. Okay, so I am done my face, just my base makeup, and I am going to finish up the lower lash line and eyes. So for the lower lash line, I'm gonna go in with the shade Imperial. I'm gonna grab it on a little angled brush. Just gonna kind of line my bottom lash line just like that. Then I'm gonna grab the shade I owe you just on a fluffier brush, and I'm just gonna blend that out. Okay, and for waterline eyeliner, I'm gonna go back to that Huda Beauty Life Liner and use the other side. Where did I put that though? 
Oh, here it is. Which side is it? See, I love that it's labeled. Okay, so we just have a little twist up pencil here and let's see how this applies. Hopefully it's creamy. Very black and it glided on really nicely. I like it so far. That's the thing with per first impressions. Watch next week, I'll hate this. For mascara, I actually do have a new mascara. Where did it go? Oh, here it is. I got like a little sample size and I figured I may as well try it. Too Faced Damn Girl. Damn girl, those lashes are thick. It looks exactly like the Too Faced Born this way. Does anyone else feel the same way? The tube's obviously different, but the brush looks exactly the same, so. Oh, it's really big. That's really big. Am I just eating my words? That's a lot bigger than the uh, Better Than Sex mascara. All right, well, here goes nothing. It also doesn't help that there's eyeliner all over my eyelashes, so. Oh, you know what? This is actually not too bad. I thought it was gonna be really clumpy because of the, how thick the wand is. Cool, I don't hate that. I'm surprised I don't. Pretty easy going on the bottom lashes too. Interesting. I'm surprised I don't hate that. Um, I'm gonna have to try it again just to really see what the formula does because you know when your lashes get all crispy from too much liquid liner? That's what my lashes were like, so I feel like I didn't give this product justice, but I do actually like it despite that. Now that I'm looking up close, this isn't quite as black as I want it to be the eyeliner. I don't know how I feel about it. I used to love it five seconds ago, but it really isn't very black now that I'm looking up close. Okay, and now for the part that I'm personally the most excited about, ColourPop Falsies! Yay! So the style that I'm gonna wear today I think is Queenie. These are so gorgeous. They are faux mink style, which is my favorite. And they're only $8, so uh, if I like these, might stock up. ColourPop might be coming for my house of lashes, which is crazy. They didn't release lash glue with it though. I kind of wish they would have, but I'm sure they will eventually. They launch something every other week, so. I'm just giving these a good trim. Let me measure. I feel like I'm gonna have to trim these quite a bit because I have very small eyes. Oh, not really. Okay, let's just not try not trimming them. And uh, if I struggle, then we will. I'm just gonna use my House of Lashes lash glue as always. Oh, I'm so excited for these. Oh, you have no idea. Lashes are my jam. Oh, these are pretty. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And they're comfortable too. Oh, I'm gonna have to go online and order like 60 pairs. ColourPop, just give me your entire stock. That'd be great, thanks. I'll zoom you in a little bit so you can actually see how the lash looks up close. The glue's not dry yet, so keep that in mind, but oh man, that's a pretty lash. Okay, so I went ahead and I did my bronzer, blush, and highlight because I didn't have anything new to try. I just used my Fenty Beauty Into Sun bronzer. I used the ColourPop blush in the shade Tick, and I used my Becca highlighter in Vanilla Quartz. I just didn't want to use them on camera just because I didn't want this video to be like 100 years long because I have the Safia Nygaard and ColourPop collab to swatch for you guys. So this was sent to me yesterday, and I don't know, they're just, they're so cute. I was gonna give them away, but I kinda wanna keep them. They're just really unique colors that I don't have, so I don't know. They're like really Halloween inspired and I love it. I love the bats. It's freaking bats, I love Halloween. Okay, so let's go through them. I guess I'll go from light to dark just cause I feel like that'd be easiest. The first shade is Bikini Bottom. I don't know if that's a SpongeBob reference or what? I don't really watch her channel, so I'm sure these names have a meaning, but I just don't know them. Oh, they have little bats on the side. How cute. Can you see that? Can you see the little bats? I don't know if you can, but they're really cute. It's like a brown nude color. I think that's pretty. It's a cream formula. I think all of them are cream formulas. Oh no, some of them are matte. I lied. So this is a cream formula. Again, the shade Bikini Bottom. It's like a good fall nude. Also, I'm not applying these nicely at all because they're just swatches. I'm probably gonna smudge the foundation all over, but that's okay. The next shade is called Mrs. Norris, and it's also a cream formula. And this one's like a taupey brown. It's really quite interesting. This one kind of smells weird. 
Oh, this is a cool color. It's really spooky, I feel like. I feel like this would be a perfect Halloween lipstick. So again, this is Mrs. Norris. Is that a Harry Potter reference? I don't know. Is that, that was his cat's name, right? Okay, so we still have four more left. Let's swatch this one. This one's Bury Me in Lipsticks. Oh, this one's pretty. It's just a nice berry tone, obviously, because it's called Bury Me in Lipsticks. Oh, that's fun. I like that one. I feel like this is a color my mom would love. This is very up her alley. So that's Bury Me in Lipsticks, like berry, like not B-U-R-Y, but B-E-R-R-Y. So it's punny, you know? Okay, three left. The next one I'm gonna do is Fred, which I think stands for Franken Red. It's a very pretty deep red. My cat's name is Fred, so he has his own lipstick now. This one also smells kind of funny. Oh, that's a really gorgeous red. What formula is this? It's a cream. Wow. That's a terrible application. I guess I won't be taking any selfies of this look. That's a really pretty color. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Definitely not for this look, but it's really pretty. Okay, next up, I'm gonna go for Brucey. So this is a matte and it's a gray. So, is it a gray or is it a black? I think it's a gray. Oh yeah, it's definitely gray. Oh, that's so smooth. Usually these colors are kind of hard to do. But that is so soft. Kind of has a little bit of green to it. Ooh, that's pretty. That is such a cool color. I like that. That's fun. There's red all over my mouth. This is not, this is not easy. Okay, and the last one is Screamer and it's a matte, is it red? Or black, is it black? It looks like it might be a really dark red. Oh yeah, it's like a really dark purpley red. Oh, this is pretty. That is so gorgeous. And the formula is really good too. It's, did I say it's a matte already? I don't know, but it's a matte and it's so pigmented. You know how sometimes um, these colors can be, can be a little patchy? I don't think this one is like at all. Okay, so I ended up going with the shade, uh, what's the nude one, Bikini Bottom. And then I wanted something a little bit warmer, so I added Stelazi Shaken Lip Vinyl on top. Love it. And this is the completed look. So far, I really enjoyed everything that I tried. I'm surprised there wasn't even really one miss in here. Everything so far performed really well. The one thing that I'm kind of like meh about is the Huda Beauty, the pencil side of the liner. It's, it's kind of not very black. Other than that, I think everything performed really well. And that's everything for this video. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much for watching. If you've made it this far, please subscribe if you haven't yet, and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Is that a squirrel? Those damn squirrels are so big. Oh man, I got it on my eyeshadow. Damn it! <laughs>